comes on, when my spikes goes on, this is when I become the beast that you want to see. But is Jarnel Hughes in his beast mode any better than his American rival, the current 100 meter world champion, Noah Lyles? A year, you know, last year at world championships, I brought back three gold medals. Defeating Lyles would be no easy feat for anyone, including Hughes, especially since very cool. You have pretty big goals, right, for yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's, Always. what's like... I'm extremely ambitious. Yeah. Still, like many others, Hughes aims to outrun the American champion. Could he? In fact, who is he and what he is capable of? Well, suffice it to say that he has a long list of remarkable achievements. And you probably know that already. But for some highlights, he is a one-time world championship silver medalist, four-time European champion, two-time World Championships bronze medalist, one-time European Championships silver medalist, five-time Diamond League meeting winner, and three-time national champion, among others. What's more, Jarnel Hughes is the fastest British man ever, thanks to his record-breaking sprints in New York and London last summer. In June 2023, he smashed Linford Christie's 30-year-old 100-meter record at the New York City Grand Prix with a time of 9.83 seconds a time 0.04 seconds quicker than Christie's. From there, he took off running, literally. By July, he did the same thing again. On the morning of his 200-meter race at the London Diamond League, he manifested breaking John Regis's British record. And are we even surprised at this point? You know, he did, after knocking 0001 seconds off Regis's 1993 mark. He then showed up at the 2023 World Athletics Championships in Budapest with yet another remarkable performance. It was then that the British sprinter clinched his first global individual medal with a stunning bronze in the 100 meter after clocking 9.88 seconds. He finished third behind US athlete and 100 meter sprint king Noah Lyles, who clocked 9.83 to take the top spot with Let's Seal Tobogo of Botswana in second, clocking the same time as Hughes. Despite not clinching the gold medal he'd hoped for in Budapest, his performance in Budapest hints at an exciting turning point for the 28-year-old, as well as the prospect of a fruitful Olympics campaign this year. We're keen to go even lower, I won't tell you the exact times, but I intend to smash last year, I'm even stronger this year. Hughes told British online newspaper The Independent, in order to bring gold home, he has to defeat Lyles, which wouldn't be too easy as some would argue. Still, he believes he can emulate Linford Christie by winning 100 meter gold for Britain at this year's Olympic Games. But first, he has a score to settle with the brash US world 100 meter and 200 meter champion Noah Lyles, who he says raised all the red in me with a withering put-down that went viral after the launch of Netflix's new track and field series, Sprint. In the clip from last summer, Lyles is asked by a journalist what it would take to win the 200 meter at the London Diamond League. Whatever I run, he asserted. It doesn't end there though. When Hughes says he wants to show that he is ready as well, Lyles said, if you don't have main character energy, track and field isn't for you. Well, you can't really blame the British sprinter for being triggered, right? He admitted that it was only when he watched the Netflix show that he realized what Lyles had said and how much he talked about him. Obviously, me being a competitor, it raised all the red in me, he said. I was like, this guy, he just needs to shut up. So for me, I use that burning desire, that red in me as an athlete. And I try to put it out on the track, said Hughes, who was speaking at a Vita Coco event. And he wasn't done either, as he added, he just has a loose mouth, he just likes to talk. I guess that's how he gets his confidence, so I can't blame him. But I'm prepared, I'll see him in London, we'll meet there and have a talk. In London, it was their feet who did the talking. At the recently concluded 2024 London Diamond League, it was once again the American track and field star who showed just why he is the favorite for double gold at Paris 2024 after a scintillating performance in the men's 100 meter. Facing a stellar field, which included both the silver and bronze medalists from last year's Worlds, 
Botswana's Letsal Tobogo, and Britain's Jarnel Hughes. Lyles crossed the line in a personal best time of 9.81 seconds. A PB and getting faster before Paris, an elated Lyles said after the race. I wanted to dip under the 9.80. I thought I was going to get a win like everyone else. I know exactly where I am ahead of Paris. I knew we'd be getting more eyes on us. I've been waiting for this for six years. As you all know, he has traditionally been known for his exploits over the half-lap distance, where he currently holds the American record and fourth fastest time in history. However, his transition to the 100 meter, arguably the most prestigious running distance in athletics, has been nothing short of remarkable, with his crowning achievement the gold he won at the 2023 World Athletics Championships in Budapest. Now, with the Paris 2024 sprint double in his sights, the 27-year-old has been working hard on improving his starts. However, it was his scintillating finish that counted in London, as he stormed to the front at the 60-meter mark before running through the line ahead of South Africa's Akani Simbine and Botswana's Tabogo, who crossed the line at 9.86 and 9.88 respectively. Hughes, who claimed that he and Lyles would be talking at the event, ended up in 6th place in 10.00. Needless to say, Noah Lyles will go into the Paris Olympics coming off the fastest 100 meter of his life. We always, as an American, we want to win everything. So that's always the goal, first and foremost. But we, you know, being an, also being an American, we want to do it. So everybody get ready for a show, because it ain't going to be boring, I promise you that. He isn't being subtle about the message he's sending, is he? So far this season, Lyles is the world's third fastest man in the 100 meter, behind Jamaican Olympic trials winner Kishani Thompson with 9.77 and Kenyan Ferdinand Omanyala with 9.79. It is worth noting though, that while Lyles ran into a 0.3 meter per second headwind in London, Thompson and Omanyala benefited from tailwinds in their races. The American is, however, the world's fastest man in 2024 in the 200 meter with 19.53, in addition to being the reigning world champion in that event. As you all know, he will bid in Paris to sweep the 100 meter and 200 meter golds, which Usain Bolt did in 2008, 2012, and 2016. In fact, he wants to take it a step further. Yeah, I said three gold medals, that's great, you know, but. You know, I'm talking to some of my family friends and like, you gotta go bigger. Like, what's bigger than three? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. As he previously said, I live for the biggest moments. The more eyes, the better I perform. As soon as I get on the stage, when the TV is on and people are watching, I perform. With Paris 2024 just around the corner, both Lyles' words and race-winning actions have sent a statement of intent for an athlete chasing glory on the world's biggest sporting stage. For his part, Jarnel Hughes remains optimistic. It isn't finished until it is, after all. I'm a positive person. My glass is always half full, says Hughes. So any setbacks I have had in my career, I have bounced back from, and they have made me stronger. Like Lyles, Hughes will participate in the 100 meter and 200 meter races at this year's Paris Olympics. Of course, competing at the international level has its added pressure, which the sprinter welcomes. Hughes admitted, I accept nerves, because you need nerves to execute your performances. It's a good thing. Will the nerves help him against Lyles? That remains to be seen. For now, watch this to see who will be joining them on the track in Paris.